broken. And there are dinosaurs here. I need to make a crafting table and a weapon to defend myself. If I find two sticks and a stone block, I should be able to put them in a diagonal formation and create a spear. Hold on, Bessie. You didn't tell me that we were activating a flipping time machine. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we may be trapped in the Jurassic period. Oh my gosh, Bessie, seriously? You told me that I would get cookies, not time travel. Guys, I need you to leave a like on today's video if you guys do want me to try and attempt to get back to our normal <laughs> Minecraft time period. Obviously, Bessie messed up and uh, basically I guess she put in the wrong time period. I don't know if she was trying to travel in the future or the past or if she actually thought that was a cookie machine. <laughs> Whatever, I found some stone right here and we just need some wood. But dude, this is sick. There's huge dinosaurs literally everywhere. I'm not sure where that baby triceratops went. Oh, it turned into a big triceratops. Oh, wait a second, there we go. Look, we have another stick. I wonder if that's enough. All right, let's try it out. If I put the stick in here with the cobblestone, uh, nope, did work. Maybe I need to find one more stick. Wait a second, what's this stuff? We got ourselves some permacin. Oh, nice, look, we got another stick. There we go, we have some logs. Now we should be able to craft ourselves a crafting bench. We'll plop it next to this weird looking dinosaur. I'm gonna name you, Billy Bob. Nice yeah. to meet you. Bessie, meet Billy Bob. Billy Bob, meet Bessie. All right, I'm gonna craft this stuff now so we can get the heck out of here. And boom, just like that. We have a stone spear. Billy Bob, day very calm. I don't wanna have to use this on you. For some reason, it looks like the time machine isn't working. There are some particle effects up here. It's looking like it wants me to find iron. We have to be very, very careful. We are in the Jurassic period, which means that there's not only normal, you know, regular passive dinosaurs like Triceratops, Taps, but there is also T-Rexes. Right, there might be something down here. Shut up! Stop! Stop it! Stop making noise or I'm trying to be stealthy. Yeah, this tastes so weird. Tastes like dinosaur turds. Also, guys, if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss out on a future video. I'm assuming this is probably not gonna end today. If you guys do have any thoughts or uh, methods of how to get out of here, oh god, oh god, what is that? What is that? What is touching me? Best say seriously, stop licking me. Oh my god, oh god, oh god, what is that? What, what was that thing? I think I got it. I may have accidentally ventured into a velociraptor nest. Velociraptor, stay calm. I have three pet velociraptors back in my house so you guys can maybe come back oh my god there it is okay let's get it let's get it oh oh my oh my god oh yeah oh okay yeah. this is the scariest thing i've ever done in my entire life bessie's still with me stop it bessie that hurts for some reason bessie keeps licking me wait a second what is that bro who put a triceratops down here maybe i can play chicken with the triceratops and get it to charge this wall of granite triceratops look at me look into my eyeballs we're gonna work together on this one all right here we go guys let's try it out in three two one boom come on come on come on yes look it worked you ran into it? Wait, hold on. It didn't break through. Let's try again. Go, 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 go. Yes, it's working. Maybe one more for good measure. Do it, do it, do it. Charge it. I think we should be able to get through. Thanks, Mr. Triceratops. Oh my gosh, dude. Something's up here. Oh, baby. What's that? What's that? What the heck was that thing? It, it, it makes weird noises. Bessie, you really had to mess up my cookie time machine? Like, seriously, all I wanted to do was just get infinite cookies. Where? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> I hear sounds. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, oh, uh, I see glowing eyes. Glowing eyes. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, my gosh. I can't see anything. I'm out of here. Run, run, run. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Bessie, did you kill it? No, Bessie didn't kill it. It's right there. This is so scary. Okay, we did it. We did it. We took him out. I think that hopefully is all of them. Ew, but no, I don't want to eat dinosaur meat. That's weird and disgusting. Here you go, Bessie. Take some Velociraptor meat. Guys, I'm hungry. I'm tired. And what was that? Wait, wait a second. Was that a meteorite? Oh, uh, okay. We got to make sure. Wait, is that my baby Triceratops? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, these are friendly dinosaurs. We have to be very careful, guys, because I know that there are T-Rexes. I don't know where they are. I don't know how they're gonna find me, but we do have our baby Triceratops. Wait, guys, this baby Triceratops got separated. Look, it's family's up there. Come on, little guy. Here you go. I got some berries for you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I accidentally ate all the berries. I feel terrible. All right, follow me, little dude. Oh, cool, look, there's more berries. Here you go. I don't know if you like berries. I personally hate them. They don't taste anything like cookies. Now it's looking like I should be able to help our Triceratops baby get back to his family. The only problem is there is a huge flipping canyon in between us. Uh, and also that kind of looks like the tail of a Triceratops. No, I mean Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> it's so difficult, dude. I can't tell which dinosaurs are what from the back. We gotta be super stealthy here. T-Rex is 
notice every single sudden movement. So, Betsy, baby Triceratops dude, stay very, very still. No sudden movements. We're so close. I see a little bit of stone over here. We need only just enough to make an axe. Stay low. Stay low. Okay, where's the rest of the cobblestone? Stop it. Stop, guys. Guys, seriously, get, get out of my way. Wait a second. There we go. We found another piece. Wait, hold on. Here's the last piece right here. Now, we should be able to combine this all together in order to make an axe. There we go. Just like that. A couple sticks, a couple pieces of cobblestone later, and we have ourselves our prehistoric stone axe. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's chop it down. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Is it working? Oh, where did you guys just come from, bro? What the heck just happened? Ah, oh yeah, all right, up. you just jumped. Okay, cool, he jumped off the mountain. He was afraid of me, or he was really scared of Bessie. Come on, come on, come on, let me get out of here, bro. Let me get that guy out of here. Did it work? Yes, look, it's falling down. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to get the baby Triceratops home. Come on, little guy, let's go. I know it's a little bit scary, but we're gonna make it safe. Where is he? Uh, little baby, baby Triceratops, where, um, guys, where did he go? Oh, wait, I found him. He was behind Bessie. Hello, big Triceratops. Ceratops, I found your little tiny baby. Well, now that we got this out of the way, I probably should go back to that meteorite because I'm pretty sure I saw something glowing down there. Do you guys see anything? I'm not sure. There's some magma, tons of fire. Wait, what was that? Wait, hold up, hold up, wait a second. Oh, why am I cornered? Oh my gosh, bro, get these blasts out of here. Oh, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. I'm just, I'm a young, I'm a young boy. Please, please, stop it. Okay, there we go. Wait a second, guys, look right down there. It looks like I may be able to use this stuff. I'm not entirely sure what it is, there is a little bit of it down here. Uh, uh, Bessie, Bessie, stop. Stop chopping in fire. Look me in the eyes, Bessie. Come on, get out of there. There's a T-Rex. There's a flipping T-Rex right there. Okay, all right, all right, Bessie. We're dead. We're absolutely dead. Now, I'm thinking we might be able to use this with our time machine in order to power it. We'll have to go back so Bessie can maybe tinker around with it a little bit, but we have this little guy right here. Oh, okay, yeah, Bessie, Bessie, on me, on me, on me. Don't look at it. Don't look at it funny. I think we should be okay. I'm way faster than it. Plus, T-Rexes are terrible at swimming. Go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Slow and steady. Bro, it sounds like it's legit just right behind me. Oh my god, dude. Somehow I got up there. Go, go, Bessie. Bessie, swim. Swim faster, Bessie. Careful. Come on. Keep up. There's a lot of lava. Okay, Bessie, do not jump in the lava or else you will turn into fresh beef. You can teleport. You didn't tell me that. Honestly, guys, I learned something new about Bessie each and every day. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. We managed to make it out. Now we just need to find our way back to the time machine. Um, Bessie, any idea where the time machine might be? I'm pretty sure we ran into the canyon, followed the water river, so I'm assuming it's hopefully this way. If I'm wrong, we might be trapped here literally forever. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. All right. I managed to find where the T-Rexes were, but they're kind of blocking my path. I have a deal of Thesaurus Pelvis, but I'm not afraid to use it, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Duh. Duh. Stay back. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm out of here. Go, 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 Bessie. On my tail. Let's do it. Jump down the water, Bessie. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully, it's not on my tail. Yes. I think we're safe. All we need to do is find this stinking time machine and we should hopefully be able to get back. Bessie can figure out how to make the cookie time machine work just as intended was that thing. Okay. Alright. Alright, bro. I've had enough of this dinosaur stuff. Alright, I managed to find the cave. If we head back through here, it should hopefully lead us back to our time machine. Uh, no, 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 no. Triceratops, you got that one. Okay, keep moving, Bessie. Bessie, don't turn around. Go, go, go. Please don't eat my butt. Bessie, stop licking me. Seriously, it hurts. Oh, no. Oh, no, Bessie. Bessie, here, you take that one. I'm out. I'm out, Bessie. I've had enough of this. Okay, I'm blind. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Bessie, I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What am I standing in? Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. Bro. I just realized, um, I don't know which way I came in now. I really, really hope this was the right way out. I hear a couple dinosaurs. Yes, wait a second. I think I see the time machine. Hopefully, this can do the trick. We just need to load the power source into the hoppers and then hit the time travel to go home. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's plop that in there. Hopefully, this works. Works, ladies and gentlemen. Drop a like down below if you think it is. Comment down below if you think Rodney sabotaged it. Let's do it, Bessie. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, she's on the time machine in three, two, one, please. The end. Until next time. Wait a second. Did it work? Also, guys, where 
is Bessie. Rodney, bro, uh, how did you get here? Hey, Bessie! Nope, that is an elephant. Is Bessie inside of a hopper? No, we still have our meteorite order. We still have our rubies from the last episode where we needed it to power the time machine. And now I guess we're out of fuel and Bessie's lost and I'm stuck with Rodney this time. I guess we should probably have a look around. What's up, bro? Slave worker. Wait a second. So we're in the Great Pyramids and they're still being built. Um, okay. Is there, uh, is, is there anything uh, going on in here? Are they really all just working out of this little hut? Okay, you guys have some food? No cookies, sadly. I don't know if they're invented yet. This is honestly so so weird. They're still building the pyramids. Am I supposed to go inside the pyramid? I guess we can take it nice and easy. Maybe Bessie's in here? I don't really know. Oh my gosh, Rodney, where'd you go? Oh, they blocked me in. Oh my gosh, what is that sound? Is that a snake? I hate snakes. Guys, I think I might be a little bit trapped at the moment. Hello. And by, oh, Pharaoh's sarcophagus, and there's spiders everywhere. Spiders? Nope, nope. I've already killed cavemen. I've killed lions. I've killed tigers and bears. I don't feel like messing with the Pharaoh or spiders. Wait, somebody said hello? Can you hear me? I'm in the sarcophagus? Help! The snake room has a flint and hammer by the carvings. Use it to break the sandstone slab and free me. Who in the heck trapped somebody in here? Oh, hey, Rodney, how's it going? Did you trap somebody in there? Oh, wait a second, maybe Bessie's in there. Okay, we're looking for a flint and hammer in the spider room. We need to be on the lookout for booby traps. I know in the Great Pyramids, there's a ton of, of, uh, of uh, booby traps. Wait a second, our time machine just sent us a message. It says, informational tidbit. The ancient Egyptian palette was formed around six main colors groups. Red, green, blue, yellow, white, and black. Well, that's a cool update that Bessie did. Okay, that scorpion just pinched mm -hmm. my butt. Come here, you think it's time, it's time to get away from me. Oh, gosh, I want to get poisoned. I don't remember scorpions being this massive. Oh, jeez. Okay, stop it. No, no, no. Oh, I don't want to get eaten alive by a scorpion. Today is not a good day to get eaten by a scorpion, guys. Oh, jeez. Okay, Rodney, bro, seriously, Bessie helped me in all the other time machine adventures. Why aren't you helping me? He's honestly probably just looking for any cookies he can find. All right, I just have a couple more scorpions. Just... Stop it. Stop. Oh, God. Oh, no. Poisoned. We did get some scissors, though. I don't know if I could use the scissors on the sarcophagus. One more scorpion. One more scorpion. Okay. I think I took them all out. This is so weird, guys. There's just drawings all over the wall. I'm sure they have some sort of meaning, but I'm not really good with hieroglyphs, so I don't know. This one looks like a turd that is farting out clouds and also has chocolate bars, but we still didn't find our flint on a hammer stick, whatever the heck we were looking for. We need to find the snake room still. Snake. Snakes. Oh, that's a snake. That's snakey. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, please don't eat me. It's a cobra. It's a king cobra. Oh, no, 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 no. Rodney, oh, Rodney, I need you as bait. Come up. Come on. Come on. Nice and easy, Rodney. Ah, oh, that's a lot of snakes. Okay. I have scissors, and I'm not afraid to chop you in half, bro. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Okay. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. There's not snakes. I'm not afraid of snakes. We got the flint and hammer. Let's get out of here. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, time out, guys. Uh, I just need some food. Okay. Get the heck away from me. Don't worry. I got the flint and hammer. I should be able to use it on the slab. You are not Bessie. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Thank you. I'm still a little bit wrapped up though. Could you go into the cloth room and fetch some scissors? There may be some scorpions in there. Be careful. Funny enough, I actually have the scissors already. There you go. Take the scissors. Oh my goodness. How did you change that fast? I think he might be a little bit magical. Rodney, careful with the magical pharaoh. What are you looking at? Ah, that's better. I believe my brother buried me in here to take over as the new pharaoh. I must stop him. But, uh, who are you? I am back, bro, Jack, the cookie pharaoh god of awesomeness, and um, I'm just trying to get to Bessie and possibly go home. Ah, lost traveler. Well then, you're in luck. I will give you my staff of guidance in return for your help in getting out of here. Uh, don't know if I like the sound of that. Um, I guess maybe. What do I gotta do? Rats ran off with the exit button. Find it and then go to the fourth room and place it on the green block. Rats, really? Rats did it? You have any cool weapons that I could steal from you? That staff looks kind of awesome. I do have this frost scorpion stinger. I don't know how many times I could sting people though. Okay, let's see. Let's uh maybe look for a couple rats. I hear them for sure. Oh! Oh, that's a spider. That's a spider. Oh, and there's rats in there, too. Let's go. Take that sting to the face. Couple more stings and I got them. Oh, jeez. Okay, stop it. Bear the rats. Spear every single rat. Oh, they're biting me with their giant teeth. Oh, God. Oh, there's so many rats. Oh, my God. Somebody has to control an exterminator. Come on. Come on, you little rascals. Dingus. Dingus. Dongus. All right. Uh, anybody else want some? Boom. Okay, a couple more. Where is Bessie? I could really use the backup. I'm out. I gotta eat a fish. Where are all these rats still coming from? Any button in here? No button. One of these rats has 
has to have a button. Uh, nothing so far. Still just have stray spiders and rats everywhere. Oh, well, thanks for helping out, guys. Is it back here? Wait a second, there's the button. All right, follow me. We may be able to actually get out of this place. One small problem. I think I came in that way, but I can only place this on green terracotta. Any green terracotta this way? Uh, nope, that looks pretty black. Anything over here? Um, nope, still just got turds with chocolate bars. Seriously, you, you don't want to give me any hints here? I, I am, I, honestly, I'm lost. Green terracotta, it has to be somewhere around here. Wait a second, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys saw in the last episode, I saw a lot of you guys commenting something about this face being the hacker's face. I'm honestly not sure if the hacker's behind this, but every time Bessie sets up the time machine, she says it should work, and then once we actually use it, we end up in a completely different spot. There's gotta be some other clues around here. Okay, let's check out all the different hieroglyphs. Anybody in here? Oh, wait a second, we found the green terracotta. All right, let's plop that on there, use the button, and there we go. Is this how we escape? No, wait a second. It only brought us up to the next level. And there he is again, guys. The hacker face. Oh my goodness. I don't want to be here anymore. Where'd you just come from, bro? Oh, okay, I took it out. What what I get? I got frost stuff. Can't see a dang thing. We just gotta keep moving. Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking. We are actually stuck in a giant flipping maze. If I jump up, I can kind of see where the maze is going, but I don't know. Wait a second, there's the exit. Okay, just gotta slowly, deadly work our way around, fight off some scorpions, and we should be good to go. This looks about right. We can sneak over here. Uh, oh. Hey, how's it going? My name's Jack. I'm gonna run now. Go, 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 go. Yes, we found the next one. Um, how did you guys already get up here? Whatever. We gotta keep moving on. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Kinda looks like there's 12,000 snakes down there. Let's see. It looks like the next spot is either over there on that pressure plate, but I need to make sure I don't fall by accident. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't fall down there. I'm not entirely sure if there's any checkpoints. Okay, is everybody with me? Wait, where did they go? I swear, every single time I try and do like one of the obstacles, I just get abandoned. This is why I need Bessie to help me. Once we're out of here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. If it is indeed the hacker, we're gonna need to really look into the time machine to see if maybe there's some code left behind or some sort of trace evidence because something is definitely not right. You guys have been commenting about the hacker and we keep seeing the hacker's face legitimately everywhere. He's literally just messing with me. Don't fall. Don't fall. This is it. Final home stretch. Boom. Oh, whoa. What is it? Oh, welcome. Thanks for joining. All right, cool. We should be at the top of this thing. Or maybe not. What is that? Bro, I didn't realize pyramids could punch me in the face. All right, everybody on me. Wait, oh, bro, the hacker again. This dude's gotta chill. Okay, here we go. Go, next one. Okay, don't get smashed. Don't get smashed in the face. Okay, got a couple spiky spikes down there. Here we go. We gotta make sure it's time to jump. Boom. Oh, oh, this looks a little bit deadly. Gotta make sure to time it just right here. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, that was so close. One more. One more to get through. Um, okay, this one goes all at the same time. I think go, 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 go. We made it. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to go so slow on this one. Nice and easy around town. Uh, yes, we made it. Wait a second. The Pharaoh has said one color is missing from the Egyptian palette. Place the right color wool at the very top. Now, guys, I remember from the beginning, the time machine let us know about all the different colors, and I vaguely remember red being one of those colors. Comment down below what color you guys think goes up up there. Personally, I think it's red. It actually, I'm pretty sure it has to be red. See, look, we already have black, white, blue, green, yellow. By the process of elimination, I believe we have our color, which is red. Let's make sure we got it right, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, place the wool. Place the, oh, did I do it? Thank you, traveler. Now I can set things right. Maybe I'll even get the slaves half an hour off of work. Here, take my staff of guidance. May it return you safely home. Oh, this thing is amazing. Okay, it should be able to just leave me right out here. Now, am I able to use this? In order to power the time machine, I hear a lot of snakes. I'm out of here. Let's go test it out. If I hold on tight to the staff of guidance, hopefully this time I will travel back home. And hopefully I'll also be able to find Bessie because being stuck with Rodney is not fun ever. Rodney, get your stick and rusty butt up here. We're hopefully going to go back home. Bessie hopefully should be there. I don't know if she accidentally came here. Maybe got stuck here. I don't know. Bessie's pretty smart. She should be able to figure it out. But ladies and gentlemen, let's do it in three. Two, one, please work. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Uh, okay, that definitely looks like the flippin' hacker, dude. Rodney, keep your eye on this guy. Yeah, punch it in the face. All right, obviously this isn't the real hacker. It could be a security camera. I'm watching you, bro. You there. 
What are those things you are wearing? They are horrible looking. You should be wearing your robes? Hop in the cart and I will take you to the Empire. Okay, sounds easy enough. Whoa, where the heck are we going? Oh, I don't know if I should trust this guy. Okay, all right, uh, Rodney, I guess you uh, you stay there. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm also not entirely sure where Bessie is. Oh, no, 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 I'm getting tired. Wait, um... Uh... Nice of you to wake up, prisoner. If you are fast enough, you may be able to impress the king. Find a button to get out of this dungeon. Where did you guys put my spear? And why did you put... Oh, uh, no, dude, I'm in prison? Rodney, Rodney, hello? Uh, guys, I kind of lost Rodney. Where's the button? Where's the button to get out of this place? Stop looking, Abby. Stop it. Stop looking, Abby. I'm gonna assume that we're probably trapped in the Roman Empire. If you guys didn't know, the Roman Empire was like the biggest empire pretty much ever. I just don't know why would they trap me in prison? Like, did I steal any cookies or maybe they were just scared of me? Uh, geez, dude, did people die down here? Maybe it's just Halloween decorations? If I were a button, where would I be? Also, why is there a secret button in your guys' prison yard? To be fair, I'm not from the Roman Empire, so I'm not 100% sure why they do the things that they do. I'm just kind of hoping that the Roman Empire has the ability to make cookies. Because I really haven't had one in a while. We've been slowly moving up through the time periods, and I don't think cookies have been invented until maybe now. But first things first, I gotta find this flipping button. Bhutan? Bo is Bhutan in here? Bhutan? Uh, no, Bhutan. Hey, bro, you know where the Bhutan is? No? Well, I had to try. Are you sitting on the button, dude? Uh, can you just move? I stepped on his head. That's disgusting. Oh, wait a second, guys. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Nice job. You are smarter than you look. All right, hopefully there is some goo left. Search the barracks for anything you can use in battle. When you are ready, enter the arena. I guess thanks a lot. I'll catch you later. Oh, uh, what is he talking about? An arena? This doesn't look good, guys. All right, what do we have? The gladiator arena? Bro, I don't know if I want to be a gladiator today. Let's see if there's any leftover armor around. Looks like we have a shield in here. We have an apple over here. Couple more apples. I don't know what I'm gonna do with an apple. Maybe I'll just like bash it over their heads. We got some pants. We got a chest plate. Any more apples or possibly cookies? No, but we do have a sword. Cookies, cookies. Uh, oh, bro, an iron war axe. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Uh, oh, what is this thing? Oh my gosh, bro, he has literally heads everywhere. At least now we pretty much almost know for a fact that the hacker pretty much hacked into my time machine and also possibly took Bessie. I haven't seen Bessie in a while. Hey dudes, how's it going? Well, let's see if you have what it takes to defeat three of my best gladiators. Oh my gosh, bro, I don't wanna do this. Okay, all right, it's, it's fine. What the heck, do, do they have weird looking swords? Hey King, have you seen my cow Bessie? Also, there's a hacker, he hacked my time machine. So I don't even know if you guys know what time machines are, but uh, he hacked it. Maybe my battle war axe will do the trick. And turn, hit, and run. And turn, hit, run. And turn, hit, run, this isn't working. Hey, hey, dude, hey, can you, can you maybe send down some snipers or something? Uh, okay. All right, bro, this one looks like an assassin. Bob and weave. Weave and Bob. Bob, Bob, my, my weaver. Okay. All right, well, dude, we took one down. Let's go. Two more left. Okay, bro. I can't even see your eyeballs. I knew he was the best one. Okay, shield. And then hit. And then shield. And then hit. Yes, bro. I just wrecked his face. Now that is impressive. Let's see how you handle our grizzly bear. I forgot, bro. In the Roman times, they would send out like bears and tigers against gladiators. It's okay, guys. Obviously, I have a ton of pets, so I should be able to just kind of tame this guy. Thank you. Easy. It's gonna be okay. My name is Beck Bro Jack. I never tamed a bear before. It's okay. You can lick me. Just don't hurt me. There you go. Have a nice little apple. There's also three dead bodies you could eat if you want to. I think it's working, guys. All right, let's just go pet his butt. Uh, okay, it's not working. I just got bit three times. I'm sorry I gotta do this to you, Mr. Bear. Okay, take it out. Yeah, that's right. Run, bro. Run, bro. Okay, I feel terrible. I don't want to kill the bear, man. The bear probably doesn't want to kill me, but we gotta do it. We gotta get the heck out of here, and I gotta get to the future. Wow, excellent work. Guards, bring him to my throne room. I have a job for him. For me? Eh, what is that? Oh my gosh, it looks like a tail. Um, <laughs> what the heck? This dude just wiping the floor on his face. I'm gonna assume that this is probably the throne room. Hello, guard number one. Hello, guard number two. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Throne Guy? I'm gonna assume this is probably the king. Yeah, King Pertinax. You, you proved yourself worthy today. I have a job that I believe only you can do. There is a volcano that threatens our way of life. I need you to enter the heart of the volcano and try to stop it. My guards will lead you to the base. The cobblestone path is probably the safest path up to the volcano, but it is extremely deadly. Watch where you are stepping. You guys aren't gonna come help me? Okay, no, that's, that's fine. All right, can I take the horse? 
Uh, probably not. All right, I'm gonna just head up here. I gotta be super careful, guys. I mean, I've spawned in volcanoes before, but I don't think I've ever gone to the center of one. Just a couple falling boulders. Nothing to be too worried about here. Okay, I should probably be a little bit more worried. Is there any sort of like pattern to this? Or, uh, okay, I'm just gonna book it. Book it. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. This is impossible. If I close my eyes, is it working? Did not, did not work. Jump, jump, Bob. We, oh my gosh, bro. Slow and steady. Uh, I died. Let's see. So it goes there, and then it goes here, and then it goes there, and then it goes in the middle, and then it goes there. It, I'm pretty sure this is completely flipping random. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna run. And I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna run. Don't do it. Yes, we did it. It looks like we're about halfway up to the top of the active volcano. I gotta be super careful here. Make sure the lava doesn't drip on my forehead. There we go. And just like that, we made it through. Just gotta jump over here, little 360 parkour. I'm also not 100% sure what the king wants me to do at the center of the volcano. He didn't really give me any instructions, did he? I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Oh, hello? What is that? H hey, dad. Uh, are you a caveman? Oh my gosh, there's a silverfish. Oh no, 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 no. Where are they coming from? Oh my gosh, get this thing out of here. I am so high up. Wait a second, look, you can see the time machine way over there. That means we definitely have to be close. I think I made it to the heart of the volcano. Looks like it wants me to go down there. Okay, let's make this jump. Then we gotta go this way. All right, this should be easy enough. I just gotta make sure to not jump in the lava. Wait a second, guys. Uh, what if there's a volcano monster down here? I know the Romans have like a set of gods. I don't know if they're real or not. Wait, what is this? What the heck? This might have some energy to get us home. Let's head back to the time machine. Maybe the geyser can get us out of here quickly so the Roman guards won't see me escaping. So it looks like we picked up a volcanic energized coal. All right, let's try this out. Let's use the geyser to head back up to the top. And boom, there we go. Um, where's the time machine? Okay, let's see. There must be some hot air from this volcano so that I can fly around. Now, where's the time machine? There it is. I don't see the Roman guards anywhere, so hopefully they can't find me. Almost there. Okay, hopefully Rodney's back here. If he's not back here, I'm leaving him. Okay, let's load in the... Oh my gosh, what was that, Rodney? Really? You just smacked me. Oh my, dude, what is happening? Okay, we need to make sure to land in the water. Let's load in the energized coal, and let's see if it works. In three, two, one, please, come on! <laughs> We have some piping, some pistons, a couple dispensers. Ew, we have cooked crab. We have cooked ostrich as well. Uh, we have some crates, more piping. What the heck is this place? There is a door over here. Can't tell. No, I can't open it. For some reason, I don't know if the hacker's been messing with me, but this kind of looks like weird symbols. I don't know, guys. Comment down below what you think this all means. I just feel like it's placed in such a certain way. But I guess it's the only way to go. Hello? Does anybody live here? I've been slowly and steadily moving through time, so I wonder, we just were in the Roman time period. Now I could be in medieval time periods, maybe? I don't really know. Let's go see if we can maybe find somebody. Hello? No? Normally there's somebody to talk to. Is there anything in here? Wait a second. We got a button and a steampunk sword? Whoa, this thing is sweet. There's also a ton of piping on the walls that looks like it's just literally spewing out so much different gas. Wait, why that? Who? Somebody flipped that upside down? I'm so paranoid. Let's see. Is there any way out of here? Wait, this is somebody's bedroom. Okay, they got some cooked turkey and cooked ostrich. Don't mind if I do. Forgot to turn off his night lights. Silly. Bessie! Rodney! Okay, I got myself a button so we can maybe get out of here. The thing is, I'm only able to place it on a block of gold. So if you guys see anything around, also if you guys see any weird messages or, you know, hackers or people, let me know, please. Wait a second, guys. I found the attic and boom, we're able to place the button down on this gold block. Now, hold on. Let's see. Any other materials? For some reason, somebody's been putting omelets in chess. Hey, I'm not complaining. I like a good omelet. Wait a second. That looks like a flying steampunk city. Wait, this isn't the wrong time. This is the wrong dimension. Dude, wait a second. Did we go forward in time past our current point? Obviously, throughout history, there's never been flying cities before. At least, I don't think. I gotta get to the bottom of this, please. All right, I just wanted to go to a cookie dimension. That's where Bessie said she could take me this entire time. Cookies? Anybody got any cookies? 
scared villager. Help, please, they're after me. Don't worry, I got you. What is that? What is that? What is that thing? Okay. Oh, uh, automation? Wait a second, was that a robot? Hold on, whoa, 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 wait a second. They got robot zombies? Oh, this is actually so cool. Thank you. The clockwork automations forced me out of my house, but my child is still inside. Please follow me and save him. Hey, hey, stop running. All right, we got we got a little bit of time to spare, I guess, before I can head back to the time machine. Hopefully, Bassy fixes it by the time I fix your your problems, whatever it is. He's in the topmost room. Please save him. All right, let's bust in. Let's. Oh my gosh, bro, what even are these things? And it, okay, this is so weird. They literally have a chest made out of furnaces. Good work, Rodney. Any secrets in here? Is this a coat hanging room or a shower? I hear a ton more. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. Ew, dude. Okay, I got the one. I'm I'm trying to figure out what they have on their heads. It's literally like a wheel. I guess that's how their brains work. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't even know what year it is. If I had to guess, it's probably like year 3020. Let's see, anything in here? Oh, uh, we found some pumpkin apple pie. <laughs> Wait, never mind. It's just normal apple pie. We gotta stay focused. Rodney, make sure I stay focused. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Oh my gosh, there's like five of them up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it, stop it, bro. What you, what you doing? What you thinking about? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> Little kid, hello? Or right, hopefully he wasn't turned into a steampunk automation zombie because that would be kind of weird Oh, we found a little kid. Look, he's got a little steampunk outfit on. It's the scientist. He's gone mad He means Dr. Uwork. He lives in the factory on the far side of the city. If we don't stop him soon He'll overthrow the town. What the heck dude? There's mad scientists. There's zombie robots. There's steampunk little tiny kids. What the heck is going on? I honestly think I like the Jurassic period like 10 times better. Okay, let's see Oh, bro. Hey, how you doing? You just planting some plants? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to kill my face. Bessie, stop. Or, Bessie, seriously, you got to help me kill these things, not lick their faces. No, no, no. Bad robot zombie. The entire city is literally filled with them. That's probably why there's no people. Please, robot zombies. I know it's the future and everything, and you're probably being controlled by the crazy scientist. No, I'm not talking about Bessie. The other crazy scientist, Dr. Uwork. Now, let's see. Where could the factory be? Oh, cool, look, factory, this way. Bessie, Rodney, I need you guys to stay close to my butt because there could be a lot of people here and I can't afford Bessie getting injured. She has no materials and no weapons and Rodney probably just wants this apple pie. Okay, guys, I think this is the factory. It almost looks like a small castle. Now, let's see, I need the door mechanism. It looks like there are three gears missing from this door mechanism. How am I gonna find them in such a big city? Messi, hey, hey, I need you to go find three gears or pull them out of Rodney. Rodney, you're gonna have to sacrifice yourself. All right, fine, we'll, we'll figure out another way. Guys, don't tell Rodney this, but if we can't find the gears, we're probably gonna have to take him apart and uh, use him for different rusts and, and bolts and, and gears. Uh, hey, Rodney. What's she up to? This honestly is such a massive floating city. Like, look, we have to be super careful not to literally fall out of the sky into the clouds. Now, if I were hiding some gears, it would probably be in a chest, maybe even over there in that giant wooden balloon. Oh my gosh, not this dude again. Luckily, they're not that difficult to kill. Obviously, their AI was not programmed very well. Bessie would have made them 10 times better. Seriously, where do you guys keep coming from? Wait a second, maybe they can tell me me where the different gears are. Obviously, they don't speak any languages, but they have to be coming from somewhere. Anything up here? Wait a second, I might be onto something. This is the door we came out of earlier. Did neither of you want to tell me that we've already been here? Sometimes, guys, I think that Rodney and Bessie do absolutely nothing. That's all right, though. We got to remain focused here. I don't feel like being in the steampunk dimension or timeline anymore because, honestly, it smells like absolute poop. There's constantly just machines grinding away. Uh, yeah, there's these weird robot things. That might mean that there are some gears in here. Obviously, they wouldn't be here unless they were hiding something. Anything in here? No, dude, we have cooked ostrich. I hear so many clickety clacks up here. Okay, all right, yeah, just file down one by one, please, so I can smack you in the face with this awesome looking sword. Thank you very much. Wait a second, guys, there we go. We found one of the factory gears. So it seems like wherever these weird automated Minecraft robot zombies are, that's where the gears are. See, guys, I'm not that dumb. I knew they were hiding something. I hear a ton of clicking over here, which means that they're probably in this house. And that, and Anybody home? Looks like they boarded up the doors. Guys, I think I found another one of the houses with the gears. As you guys can see, we have one of the gear zombos in there. Now I just need to find a way in. 
I think I got it, guys. Oh, yeah, I definitely got it. Definitely got it. Okay. All right, guys. Seriously, stop sneaking up on me like that. Not cool. I need to find the gears. Hey, uh, there's just die. This is so weird. Why would the hacker want to send me to this timeline? Probably because he knows that I'm scared of robots because of Rodney. And I'm also kind of a little bit afraid of zombies. Even though I am half zombie, it seems like every single zombie in the entire universe hates my guts. Wait a second. The gear is on the weather balloon. I need to knock it down somehow. Wait a second. Let's try. Yes. Okay. We can knock down the different pillars that's holding up the weather balloon. I'm really hoping that doesn't take down the entire steampunk city. I'm pretty sure it's not just a balloon holding it up, right? There's like actual engines going, right? I hope. Please tell me yes. Right, we got to make our way over here. Okay. Please don't fall. And then just like that, last one down. And there's the gear. Wait, balloon. Come back. What? Where are you going? Wait a second. No, 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 no. Is the entire city going to fall? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. This is a tough one. Yay. Okay, cool. One more little baby jump, and we got ourselves the second gear. Now that we're up here, we may be able to see where the last gear is. There is another giant steampunk city over there, but there's no specific way to fly. Wait. Hold on, guys. I hear the clicking. I think the last gear might be in this house right under me. You guys see that? What? Hey, who put that there? I just want to be done with this, dude. I don't feel like messing with the hacker. The hacker already won, man. Bessie can't really figure out how to fix the flipping time machine. Oh, hey, fellas. Uh, how do I get inside this house? Hey, what the heck? Wait, oh my gosh, he can hit me through the wall? I mean, I guess he is a robot. Hey, villager lady, since I helped you, can you help me please find the last gear? Uh, hi. Yeah, can you help me? find the, the i'm done with you all right little tiny kid i need you to tell me where the gear is bro your clothes look silly no they don't <laughs> guys i hate it here everybody thinks i'm silly please tell me this is the last house with the gears no 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 i have come way too far to get wrecked by zombie robot butt okay okay seriously you guys are getting a little bit close to me can you stop hiding around the corner time out gotta eat a nice juicy omelet all right back into it hey hey stop hey i see you yes got him is there any more down here oh we actually got some armor don't mind if i do are you kidding me seriously i walk up the stairs and now there's iron armor i think i'm gonna keep the gold hat on looks very king-like and proper Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Oh, okay. You want to die too? Okay, yeah, that's no problem whatsoever. There you go. A little bit for you. A little bit for you. Sounds like there's a few more robots clickety-clacking. Uh, what the heck? Ooh, we got ourselves a sword. I actually kind of like my steampunk sword, though. Plus, it also does seven attack damage, which is way better than an iron sword. Oh, babe, we got ourselves a cookie. I don't know if I should eat it, though. The robots could have infected it. And we also have our last factory gear. Rodney, Bessie, it's officially time to take out this weird doctor scientist. It's only been like 15 minutes and I already forgot his name. That's how much I don't care about this dude. All right, let's just plop in one, two, three factory gears. And just like that, the door opens. Seems like if I break the two lava power cords, it could stop this machine. Let's see. Oh my gosh, where the heck did you guys come from? What the? Is it just popping them out? Dude, yeah, this is where they're being made. Rodney, Bessie, I need you guys to stand guard. Wait a second, guys. It looks like they're actually farming magma cubes for lava. Boom. Okay, we got the one magma cube core. Now we just have to take out this one. Couple more and boom, there we go. Okay, so that blew open the doors. Now we can get to the upper level. Hello? Anybody home? Oh my gosh, Jess is home. All right, bye. I'm leaving. Have a good life. Please don't follow me down here. Please do not follow me down here and stop throwing those weird things, Abby. Oh, okay. All right, he's right there. What the heck is going on? Bro, he's tossing out fireworks. Oh, oh my gosh, you're insane. You're actually insane. You're insane, bro. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hold up. I time out. I gotta eat a cookie. Hey, hey, respect the timeout. Okay, he's not respecting the timeout rules. I'm gonna head back up. I just got pummeled by a gear. Bessie, Rodney, please help me. Like, hold him down or something. Hello? Oh, hey, dude. Okay, we have him trapped in there. Let's go. No, 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 dude, stop fighting more fireworks. These are fireworks of death. Okay, all right, I need to make sure I stay out of his sights. Hey, 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 how's it going? Okay, do not, dude. Oh, he's falling in robots too. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. Wait, he's throwing him at the thing. I was trying to use him as a body shield. I think we should go in for a sneak attack. No way he'll see me coming up this shot. Yes, dude, I think it worked. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. What is that? The fireworks are so deadly. Okay, we got to remember one. Come on, dude, he's got to be close. Stop throwing the things at me. He doesn't even have a sword. He's doing so much damage. I need more cookies. I need more help. Back up. Yes, wait a second. We did it. Wait a second. He dropped something that looks really powerful. What is this? 
He dropped an empowered gear. Wait a second, let me go bring this to Bessie. Bessie? Hey, oh, thank you so much for your help. Allow me to lead you back to your traveling machine. Well, it's actually more like a time traveling machine, but yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Bessie, by the way, I got this little tiny cog gear that might be powerful enough for you to use to bring us back home. Lady, lady, uh, where'd the lady go? Good luck on your journey. I can't even see you. Oh, there you are, what's up? Bessie, Rodney, come on in. Please tell me! It worked! Wait a second. Are we in a giant cookie? No, no, we're not. We are inside of a cave. Betsy! Why do you always lie to my face? Okay, where are we now? Um, it actually looks like it could be the right dimension, but, um, yeah, the wrong time period. If you look over there... What kind of town is that? Bessie, stay nice and close to me. Normally when we time travel and you get it wrong each and every single time, I normally either get captured, I get attacked, or something tries to kill me. I guess that's the same thing as getting attacked though. I got my sword at the ready. All right, I also have my cooked ostriches at the ready. Lady, I'm not afraid to hit you with my ostrich leg. That's a giant hat on your head. Howdy stranger, you look lost and mighty weirder than their rags you're wearing. Here, throw this on and follow me. I don't look that weird. Uh. All right, I stand corrected. What we got here? A cowboy hat? Oh my gosh, I look amazing. Hey, lady, wait up, Dakota. This here is our little town, Dusty Creek. It ain't much, but it's home, you know? Uh, yeah, I know, I know home, except I haven't been home because I've been traveling through weird time periods every single day. The sheriff is here in Buddy's saloon. He should be able to help you. Good luck on your adventures. Thanks, I guess. Uh, hey there, Mr. Sheriff, how's it going? Well, 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 you look mighty lost, my friend. Take this guy up here, and we will discuss what we can do to help you. His is the smallest room. Uh, buddy, uh, you got two legs there, don't you? You can't walk up to your room. Okay, I'm not gonna ask questions. Uh, okay, I, I kind of want to ask questions. Uh, how did he shrink down? Why am I able to carry him so easily? This is weird. It is weird. I'm not gonna ask any questions, though, I guess. All right, here's the smallest room. That one looks kind of big, uh, same size. Uh, okay, this one's probably the smallest. Uh, what? Uh, how? Uh, the magic? Uh, that was uh, that was weird. Get your weird magical butt on the bed. Go to sleep. No problem. All right, Sheriff, I carried your weird guy named Jeremiah up to his bedroom. I even tucked him in and told him a bedtime story. So Bessie was just telling me you need some kind of power source to help you get home. The only kind of power we have here is gunpowder. I can scrounge up some for you, but I kind of need some help around the town. Meet me in the jail when you finish your list of chores. Wait a second, chores? Bessie, really? You couldn't have just given him money or something? I have to do chores? Let's see, our chores are help Winston in the train station, help Cassidy at the inn, and help Billy near the stables. It's looking like the train station's probably over here. All right, Bessie, while I'm helping out Billy, can you go help out Cassidy at the inn, please? Maybe, possibly, actually, I think it would be a little bit weird because I don't think the old Western people understand that Bessie's a weird scientist, Cal. Howdy there, partner. You look real goofy, you know that? Anyways, I could use a hand. Can you load all six piles of coal onto the train? Just shift right click to pick them up. There are a few more around the town too. Thanks. Is everybody in this town super lazy? Who else is supposed to be doing these chores? Whatever, I guess I am, you know, super strong and I'm also the you know, most handsome zombie ever. So I guess it's my job to do so. There we go. We got coal pile number two, coal pile number three coming at you. Boom, there we go. Now let's see, Winston was saying there's a couple around the town. Boom, we got one right there. Also guys, I completely forgot to mention in the last couple of episodes, you guys keep commenting that there are signs and symbols of the hacker. I've seen a few, but for some reason, I don't see any here. If you guys do see anything, be sure to drop a comment down below and a timestamp of where it's at so I can go back and, you know, double check. But yeah, I've been looking around and so far, this little tiny village seems clear of any sort of hacker signs. But regardless, we still do need to get out of here and then hopefully Bessie will officially fix the time machine afterwards. But I mean, luckily we didn't end up in the worst time period. Well done. Thanks, partner. Now skedaddle. Well, uh, fine, dude, I guess. I mean, I, I don't even get any cookies or anything for helping you. Whatever. I guess next up, we gotta go help out Cassidy at the inn. 
Now let's see, looks like a couple of these different places have signs. So that looks like the tavern sign. I'm guessing this might be the inn, or maybe this is the food shop. Um, nobody's here. And uh, we got some candy canes. <laughs> we got cookies, let's go! Okay, Bessie, Bessie, run, we gotta get out of here. I guess if we do get stuck here, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Let's see, is anybody home in here? Oh, we got some more cookies, I think. Uh, they kind of smell like eggs. Is the inn in here? Hello, Cassidy? Howdy. I don't have any work for you, but you can come check out my shooting range if you're mad enough. Follow me. Well, I mean, technically, you know, I'm like half man, half zombie, so I guess that's enough. Another problem is I also don't have a gun, Cassidy. Uh, so can I have one place? Take their revolver out the chest and the ammo and shoot down all the targets. Whoa, look at that. We actually got our own revolver. Now, let's see. We got to take out some targets here. Luckily, I've had a lot of target practice in my day, so this is super easy enough. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why is it? Why did it just try and attack me? Normally, the targets aren't supposed to fight back, but I guess it is old Western time, so I, I really don't know why they would attack back unless these are robots. Maybe we're secretly in a future civilization made to just look like an old Western town? That would actually be kind of sick. Nice shooting there. You can keep the gun. We got lots around here. Now let's see. Yes, we were able to check off Winston and Cassidy. Now we just need to find old Billy near the stables. I also realize the more time I'm spending around these parts, the more my old Western accent keeps kicking in. I kind of like it though. Billy boy, where you at, Billy? Hey, Billy the kid, have you seen Billy the person? No? Okay, he just licked my face. Billy, hello? Is this Billy? He is right near the stables. We have some hay in here. Yes, this has to be Billy. Hey, feller, I got two horses out there and needed some shoes. I know the other town folks have some stashed away. If you think you can find a way to guide yourself to them, bring all eight back to me. That would be wonderful. Thank you, sir. Hold up there, Billy. You want me to go steal from the other townspeople? I mean, uh, you don't have any of your own horseshoes? That, I mean, he only has one. We still need seven more. Hmm, okay, so Bessie. Wait a second, Bessie wants me to use the Staff of Guidance. I don't know how that's gonna help. I gotta be super stealthy too, cause you know, technically I'm stealing these horseshoes and that's illegal. Uh, and technically it also is old Western times and I don't know if there's any laws yet. Why is this glowing green? Hold on, wait a second. We check inside, there's a horseshoe in there. Bessie, you didn't tell me that this thing actually works in all the different time periods. Wait a second, let's see. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's glowing. Technically I already got the horseshoe out of there. Let's go see if we can find more. Oh, I see glowing in here. Yes, boom, another horseshoe. How about in the saloon? And just like that, we got horseshoe number four. This is way too easy. Hey, what's up, Cassidy? Let's see, uh, you didn't see anything. That, no, this is my horseshoe now. And yes, indeed, we head back to the train station, and just like that, we got horseshoe number six. Horseshoe number seven. And horseshoe number eight, for some reason, is, uh, stuck inside of the church. It's also stored with some cheese, which, uh, don't mind if I do. I guess I'll save this for later. Billy, old boy, I got the eight different horseshoes. Here you go. I can't believe you found them. Thanks, partner. Ah, oh, no problem, Billy. So I technically, I'm believing, did all the tasks. I've helped Winston at the train station. I helped Cassidy at the end. And I've also helped Billy with the stables. Now, Bessie, what do we do? Why are you licking that wooden block? That's not weird at all. If I remember correctly, the sheriff told me to meet him by the prison once I'm done all the different chores for today. Let's see. Looks like there we go. We got two handcuffs. This has to be it. Hello, Mr. Sheriff. I have one last task for you, partner. Take Loudon over here to my jail cell train cart. We leave it on the tracks just outside the town. Pick him up and place him on the goat, and then use the lead to pull him around behind you. Don't worry, he's cuffed, so he can't cause any problems. Uh, right, so you want me to take a criminal, an old western criminal, and, uh, I guess transport him? Hey there, Lionel. All right, this is gonna be weird, but I'm gonna pick your face up. Uh, he's squirming around a lot. Okay, we gotta get him on top of this goat. Okay, come on, there we go. Hey, Lionel, Lionel, you told me it was cuffed, Sheriff. Go, 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 go. Take off the leads. Stop it, stop it. Okay. Okay, wait a second. Can I ride on this horsey? Let's see. Come on. Oh, yes, I can. Come on here, you stinking criminal. The sheriff said that there should be a jail cell train cart right outside of town. The train's right here, so I'm guessing that it might be a part of the train or possibly further down the tracks. Come on, stay with me. How are you hitting me? I have this here revolver. If you hit me one more time. No, don't, don't. I have, I have a gun. And you're seriously still trying to hit me? Bro, what, B Betsy, what is this guy's problem? I think I do see the jail cell car right down there, though. Come on, come on, Betsy. Yep, keep him in line. Oh, look at that, dudes. We got wild ostriches out here. 
Hopefully they're friendly. Seems like they are. But let's see. We got Lion over here. Top off my brand new stallion. Stop it, Lion. Oh, seriously? Come on. Get your butt up here. Yeah, come on. Okay. All right. All right. We, we got we to gotta grab him. Okay. Come on, Lionel, you little baby. All right. There we go. Just like that. Plop him in there. Lock him in. I'll be back, you scum. My brother will find you. I'm sure of it. Wait a second. You're not going to find me regardless. And uh, is your brother the hacker? perchance? Eh, I don't know. He just spit in my face. Well, thank you there, Mr. Goat. And also, thank you, brand new stallion. I guess we should go head back to the town and check on our sheriff and hopefully give me my gunpowder so that Bessie can craft that into some fuel for our time machine. We can head back. She can do some more tests with it. And then maybe tomorrow we could end up in the beautiful cookie candy dimension. Hey there, Mr. Sheriff. We made it back. We got rid of that little tiny scum Lionel. Thanks for the help, partner. I hope this helps you and your cow friend get home safely. It's not much, but I compacted down a bunch of gunpowder. Good luck. There we go. We got compacted gunpowder with power five. So I'm hoping Bessie will be able to use this. Thank you, trusty Steed, for helping me out. Uh, we're going to go on one last ride back to the time machine, and then I'll leave you back to your old town ways. Bye, everybody. It was nice meeting you. Dakota, Billy... Everybody else? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot their names. Um, wait a second, what the heck? Uh, looks like there's some bandits out by the time machine. Are you serious? Come on! All right, I probably should not have messed with Lionel and his brothers. Go, 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 go! Shoot! And man, between your eyes, dude, what the heck? There's like slimes flying around. Is Bestie shooting us slime balls? What the heck? Just slime grenades? We're so close. We're so close. Come on! These guys don't stand a chance against me and my giant stallion. Boom! There we go. Let's see. Are there any more scoundrels around here? I think we're good. All right, giant stallion. Looks like it's time to part ways. We're gonna plop in our compacted gunpowder right in our power source generator. Bessie, get your butt up here, Bessie. I think it's time to go. Let's do this in three, two, one. Please work! Who? Why? Bessie? Where are we? What does that sound? That, that, is it a horn or a T-Rex? Okay, I still have all of my normal things. I have my revolver from the last episode. If you guys missed out on the time travel series, Bessie built this beautiful time machine that was supposed to take me to an alternate reality future where everything is made out of cookies. But that hasn't happened yet. I mean, we do have some cookies over here, uh, except I can't take them. Hello? Hello? Is there secrets around here? Secret paintings? Wait, huh? It looks like we're on a boat. No. Ooh, who is that? Who is that? If you guys didn't know, there's been a hacker that we potentially think is inside the time machine, making everything just wonky and wacky and making it so Bessie, you know, has no control over the time machine. Hey, you scrub. Hey, I see you over there, buddy. I don't think he can hear me. So we've established we're on a boat, but it doesn't really feel like I'm on a boat. This is also a massive boat. I mean, this room itself is completely huge. Guess we can go have a look around. The Titanic main deck? The Titanic ballroom? Are we legitimately on the real Titanic? Obviously, this isn't where we expected to go, but uh, it's kind of cool. Hello? Anybody around here? Um, won't open. That's kind of weird. I guess we should go check out the ballroom. Everybody's gonna think I'm still a cowboy. Put your hands up, partners. Oh my gosh, wait, the Titanic's sinking? We gotta go, we gotta go. Let's just go see if the time machine has enough juice. Maybe he can get us out of here. We can go back to our house. We can reconvene. Bessie can recharge it and fix it finally. Please, please, anything? There's enough juice? Come on, come on. Please tell me it works. Wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck, it worked again, but we didn't have enough juice to get back. Oh, we actually, wait a second. What's up, Rick? Uh. Are we legitimately in a battlefield? You must be the new tunneler. We have reports the enemy soldiers are trying to tunnel into our trench. Take this shovel, find their tunnel, and stop them. Bro, are you serious? I'm not trained for this. The only thing I'm trained to be is a cowboy and a professional cookie eater. Bessie, really? Why? Why did you do this? Hello? Anybody here? Uh, hello? Uh, who's this guy? Hey, hey, buddy. Um, yeah, this, this doesn't look good. There are legitimately soldiers running around. Okay, where is a tunnel? Maybe down here? I gotta find them before they find us. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, this could be it. Hello? Oh my gosh, we got bad guys. Stop it, bro. Did you just shoot a giant bullet at me? I mean, it is World War One, so I'm pretty sure they only have 
really, really bad weapons and, like, muskets and musketeers. I'm not really sure what a musketeer is, but I'm pretty sure I remember that from my history class. Bestie, lay low. Actually, can I use you as a body shield? This is too much for me. I need a cookie, man. Stop it. Hey, hey, don't do not shoot Bestie. Oh, my gosh. Bestie just yeeted him. I mean, we could go back to the time machine now, but we're definitely out of juice. If it could only take us to the world war, we're definitely not going to make it home. Hey, hey, ba bad guy, bad guy. I know you're a bad guy. It says it above your head. I have to kill you. It is my civil duty as an American citizen. Okay, yep, yep. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm going to smack you in the face with a shovel. Wow, that actually worked. Let me just plow back on my armor. Let's see if there's any more bad guys. I don't think there is. We stopped their tunnel. I honestly don't think it's a good idea to be here any longer. So we might as well head back to the time machine. Let's go see if there, maybe there's any juice left. Some of the stuff in there should be able to recharge slowly over time. Uh, where did I leave the time machine? Is it over here? Yes, okay, cool. We found it, Betsy. On my six. Let's go. Please work. Please work. Please work. Three, two, one. Time machine. Come on. Come on. Please don't be in another world war. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no thing like cookies. Did it work? Wait, where are we now? Hello? Anybody home? Um, guys? Uh, any idea where I am? Bessie? Anything? I'm pretty sure Bessie's just as confused as I am. The time machine right now is programmed to take us back to our house in the year 2020, but it seems like we're literally using the last of our fuel to move slowly and steadily through time to try and get back. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's gonna break our flipping time machine. We really don't have a lot of options here, do we, Bessie? Let's see, I need food, I need food, I need cookies, I need food. Food equals cookies, that's all I wanna eat right now. Ew, omelets, really? How old are these things? Uh, okay, all right, uh, uh, raw rat burger? What is a rat burger? That's not cookies. <laughs> I'm so scared to go out here, hello? Wait, this is NASA? On the day of the launch of Apollo 11, we can't be caught here, but the time machine is out of energy again. Let's take a look around for a disguise. Wait, why can't I be here? Oh, hey, John. Um, I am not a cowboy. This is just my Halloween costume. Please tell me there's a disguise around here. Disguise, come on, come on. Please tell me I can become a scientist really fast. I mean, Bessie blends in very well. You must be the new recruits. That is awesome. Follow me to your training routine. Uh, Bessie, uh, uh, okay, here, you work on the time machine. I'm gonna go follow him and pretend to be a scientist. Hello, fellow scientists. Yep, you guys are doing absolutely amazing with all that technological stuff. Looks, yep, fantastic. You, you guys are doing absolutely just amazing work. Uh, I need a disguise. I need a disguise. I need a disguise ASAP. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I was looking around for the disguise, guys, and, um... The hacker is slowly following me through time. This just confirms, Bessie, that the hacker is behind this. If you guys see the hacker in any other points in this video, drop a comment down below. John, hey, uh, you, you have a hacker in here? I don't know if you knew that. Wait a second, what's this thing? Hop into the centrifuge? Hold on, I don't know. Am I a test subject? Hey, hello, robot. That's a thing. I come in peace. Is this the Mars rover? How does this work? Okay, do I have... Is this the centrifuge? You must hit our target golem 15 times using the space orbs. This will test your ability to react in intense gravity situations. Uh, okay, dude, this thing is making me super dizzy. And uh, okay, hold up. Boop. Uh, uh, nope, completely just missed. Yes, I got one. Gotta time this perfectly. And he's coming down. Boom. Okay, this is way harder than it looks. Can I just spam these things? Come up, come up. Yes, yep, please hit the jumping robot. Yes, I got another one. We're close. We're really close to this. Come on. Can I, yeah, just, no, okay. This is gonna take a couple years. Think I almost have this down to a science. No pun intended. If I flick my wrist a little bit to the left, right as he's coming down, it kind of almost works every 10th time. Yes, there we go. Great work. Meet Sarah in the low gravity testing chamber. Mr. Jumpy Robot, you did well. Please stop jumping on my cowboy hat. Now let's see, if I was a low gravity testing chamber, I guess I would probably be this way. Oh, what's up, Sarah? Hello, trainee. For this routine, all you have to do is bring me the emerald that is on the middle platform. Good luck. How hard could that be? Wait a second, what the heck? Okay, all right, I just realized this is the low gravity chamber. Whoa, okay, they have low gravity fans. Okay, let's see, I gotta use my momentum. Bessie, stop jumping around. This is no time to have fun. There we go, okay, gotta time this perfectly. Nice, there we go, okay, we're making our way. I don't think I can make it. We gotta go around the entire way. Go, 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 okay. Stay up in the air, perfect. Just a little bit more, no, are you serious? Low gravity parkour is the worst. Come on, come on. Okay, all the way, slow and steady. A little ledge over here, yes. There we go, no, 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 how did I miss it? Wait a second, maybe, can I cheat the system? Yes, there we go, the low gravity worked perfectly. Now let's get our 
ourselves the emerald. And how many emeralds do I need? Uh, I think uh, Sarah just said one. I really hope. All right, Sarah, I got your stinking emerald. Nice work. You can take a break now. You should check out the Lunar Rovers. They are cool. Okay, kind of weird, but I do like cool Lunar Rovers, even though I've never seen one ever. Are they in here? I wonder if there's something in here that can help us power the time machine. Uh, that kind of looks pretty cool. There has to be something, right? Because, I mean, we're in a NASA facility, so this can open crates. Oh, we got cookies. I didn't know NASA kept cookies. Let's see, more cookies. Beautiful. Anything in here? Nope. Come on. Can I use this to take off the tires? Let's see. It seems to be working. I really doubt removing these tires helped anyone. Maybe there's something else in here? Eh, can I use the solar panels, maybe? Let's try this crate. Oh, what is this? Looks like we picked up a mega cell battery. Okay, that should hopefully do the trick. Let's put in our time machine, and then hopefully we can get out of here before somebody detects that, you know, I'm actually a cowboy, and uh, that I'm actually not even a cowboy, that I am a zombie. Oh, hey, John, you didn't hear anything. All right, we gotta get out of here, boys. Fellow scientists, great to see y'all again. Okay. I'm just gonna go back here and run some experiments. All right, let's just plop our battery in here and let's test it out. In three, two, one, please work. Come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. <laughs> Use the time machine for the last time. I don't know if it's gonna work though. Okay, let's see. That's close enough, Bessie. Let's stop the time machine. Okay, we should hopefully be able to take a closer look. I need to have a look inside. Okay, but we need to be much smaller. Wait a second, Bessie, can you shrink me down? Oh, oh, wait a second. Uh, did it work? Am I actually inside of the time machine? What was that? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, we got bugs. Uh, it's so dark in here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys see anything weird during today's video, just let me know. No. Obviously, we're inside the time machine. So anything that you see in here, I need to know about so that I'm able to fix. This is so cool, though. I'm literally like Ant-Man. All right, there we go. Let's take out all the bugs. This honestly explains so much. I wasn't certain, but I was like 95% sure that the hacker was messing with the time machine. I just didn't know how. But obviously, somehow, the hacker was able to get bugs inside of it, which is obviously messing up everything. Get out of here, you lame bugs. Come, stop. Stop, you little robot. Yeah, that's right. Wait, who? Hey, who shoot? Hey, who is shooting stuff at me? Hey, stop, you little robot scum! Hey, no, 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 no! All right, I've had enough of this. I've been trying to use the time machine to just go get cookies, and each and every time I just get yated around different time-space continuums, and it is not fun. Is there a way to turn off the bugs? Br seriously? Systems hacked. Connections broken. Manual fix required. Highlighting areas. Stop it, dude! I have so many of these things on me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please get away from me, he's taking viruses. I need to make sure I stand on these highlighted areas and then fix them. Come on, get, 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 oh, please, please let me fix it. No, 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 there's literally so many viruses on me. Go, go, get away, get away, back up. I'm gonna need to snipe a few so I don't die. There we go, I think I got enough of them. Let's go try and stand over here so I can fix it. Can't tell if it's working. I'm just gonna have a, a nice little cookie. Okay, yes, I connected back the wire. So let's see, this looks like, no, oh, bro, get away from me. So it looks like this is where the power source is collected. And then from there, it goes to the central core of the time machine. But obviously, the hackers have been messing with the wiring. So we got to go around and make sure. Okay, looks like there's a wire kind of cut up here. Let's go stand over here and fix it. Come on. Of course, they hit me down off of the sky. No, no, no. Stop. You're very unlucky because I am super good at shooting guns. Please no more spawn in. I got to stay really, really, really careful up here. Come on. Come on, fix it, fix it. Yes, okay, we fixed the green wire. Now, let's see. There's probably at least one or two more. Yes, okay, there's a red wire missing up here. I don't think any robots see me right now. Okay, I'm gonna stand up here. If you see a robot... Okay, let's just shoot that, that one. Yep, shoot it. <laughs> you can't even tell what's happening. Yes, okay, we fixed the red wire. Looks like there's one more down there to connect the green wire to the central core. I want to be super stealthy. No, he saw me. Hey, hey, stop it. Stop it, you big weirdo. Come on. Come on. Yep, there we go. Got him. All right, we just need to stand up here. These guys are probably up. Definitely going to see me. Boom, got them. Okay, any more? I think we fixed it. All connections fixed. Additional fault located. Hacker tracker inbound. Hacker tracker, what does that mean? What is, it? What is that thing? Oh! Okay, we got an actual giant hacker virus. No, 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 no. This is what's spawning in all of the bugs. 
please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I just want to use my time machine to go get cookies from the future. If you guys think I should collect the hacker and then hold him down while Inferno and Frostbrite breathe ice and fire on his face, just let me know in the comment section down below. I think that would be a great punishment. These guys are doing way more damage than the other ones. I'm so low on health, boys. Okay, I just gotta stay up here. Okay, I forgot they can fly. No, 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 please, please just leave me alone. I'm just a little tiny zombie. Can you to kill this one? Some of them drop food. Bessie, I could really use a little help right about now. I need to keep damaging the middle guy. Okay, there we go. I'm doing a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna keep running in circles. I gotta focus this guy. Oh, no, no, no. I got caught on the wiring. He's so close to dying. Come on. We only need a couple more hits. There we go. I gotta go for it. Hopefully, they all go down. Yes. The hacker was tracking us the whole time. Wait, maybe Bessie can reverse engineer the tracker and that'll show us exactly where the hacker is. Oh wait guys, so it turns out the hacker is actually the one that did it. Whoa, wait a second. Bessie, reverse engineer the tracker. It's about time we had a showdown and take this scum out. Hopefully Bessie can do it. Good. Did, okay. Did it work, Bessie? Okay, we're ready. Let's hit the button and let's go to the hacker. You ready for this, Bessie? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's do this, boys. Wait. Um. What? Oh, wait a second. He just wanted the power cores all along. At least I kept the staff of guidance. If I get it back, maybe I can use them against him. Wait, so this was all a part of his plan? Messi, how did you get outsmarted? You gotta be kidding me. Messi told me when we first met that she was the smartest being in the entire universe. The hacker's better than you. We'll deal with this another time, but I cannot let the hacker get the power cores inside the time machine. I don't know if you guys remember, throughout each and every video, we had to collect more and more power sources from different time periods. We even ended up getting one from NASA. So obviously this dude's just been punking us the entire time. I don't even know where we are. We used the time machine. Bessie didn't really know where she sent us. It literally just said the hacker dimension. Stay super close to me, Bessie. Wait, why aren't they attacking me? They're just watching me. Um, wait, this is literally all the bad guys from every single time period. This is weird, guys. Okay, let's just keep going up the stairs. Hello? Anybody home? What does this say? Trivia? Wait, he's playing games with me? Which companion accompanied you in your first time travel? Oh, look, we got cheese in the chest. Okay, let's eat some cheese and then I'll answer. So I don't know if you guys remember the first time traveling video we did, we tested it out and it brought us back to the Jurassic period where I believe Bessie was there with me because obviously she created the time machine. So I'm gonna go with Bessie. Okay, it looks like it worked. I really don't know what happens when I get these wrong, but I do not wanna find out. Next up, what do the cavemen refer to themselves as? The Fru-Fru, the Gon Gon, or the Brubras? This one is definitely 1000% the Brubras. I would never forget that. It was honestly very weird that they called themselves the Brubras. Which color is not an ancient Egyptian palette? Oh gosh, okay. All right, this is, uh, it, went, yep, it was in the, the ancient Egypt video. Oh, <laughs> if I had to guess, I want to say green. <laughs> ah! uh, <laughs> Am I still alive? How about purple? Okay, it was purple. I'm starting to think if I get three of these wrong, it's three strikes and I'm out, which means the entire place will probably explode. What was the Roman king's name? I think it was not Becbroius. It was not Marcellus. I think it was Pertinax. Yes, we did it. Bessie, you're not even helping me through this. What did the steampunk child say to you? You have a funny face, you smell, your clothes are silly. Those are all insults. I think he didn't like my Fun. clothes. Oh. <laughs> Stop making fun of me! What work did Cassidy have for you in the Wild West? Okay, if you think back to the Wild West video, I'm pretty sure... Wait, Cassidy? I think this is a trick question. Cassidy either wanted me to shoot the targets or nothing? Yes, it was nothing! What was the name of the space launch? I'm 95% sure it was Apollo 11 that was launching, so Apollo! Wait, two power cores and the staff of guidance is vibrating? Hold on, what? Um, I think I should hold it up to the power cores. Wait, where did they go? Wait a second, this just turned into the power staff? Whoa, 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 volcanic no, monsters! Stop. Get away from me, get away from me! Wait, mega automation! Okay, this is from the future! No, 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 I'm so dead. I'm so flippin' dead. 
Wait, how do I? Okay. All right, I give up. I give up. I'm, I, I'm very, very sorry if I offended you. Stop it. Stop. I have a shield. Stop. Stop shooting stuff at me, please. Wait, these are the bosses from the future. Let's hold this out. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Die. Stop. Yes, it's working. I gotta stay on the move, though. Oh my gosh, this guy hits like a truck. Okay. All right, yes, I got revenge on him. Okay, you just had the slime monster. This guy doesn't move. Should be kind of easy. There we go. Bro, this is insane, boys. Wait, no. My revolver's out of ammo. Looks like I'm going in with a sword. Okay, bad idea. Terrible idea. There we go. We took him out. Wait, another two power cores. Let's combine them with the Staff of Guidance. Yo, this thing just keeps getting upgraded. Now it's the Mega Staff. Let's go see if there's anything we could use. We have more rat burgers and cooked rat. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right. Whoever keeps feeding me rat, you think this is funny? Wait, there's also stuff glowing up there. Let's go see what this psycho has for me next. Hello? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, hi, yes, yeah, my name. Um... My snack. <laughs> this guy is insane. Okay, I have to use a sword to chop the detonator when it turns green. Okay, gotta make sure to time this right so I don't explode. I just exploded myself. Let's actually try and follow my advice this time. Okay, so when it turns green, I'm gonna hit it. It only happens for a little bit. There we go. Okay, deactivated it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why, why is there stuff falling out of the sky? Okay, gotta time this right. There we go. There's one falling down right there. Next one, next one. We're doing it. Getting a little bit skinnier. Okay, there we go. Next one's here. Oh, gosh, more TNT. Okay, when it turns green. Uh, green, got it, yes. I am terrified. <laughs> okay, all right, this one I'm gonna time perfectly. Okay, gonna come down. Green, green, yes. No, I didn't get it, are you serious? Okay, that hurt a lot, but uh, I'm gonna live. I'm just gonna eat some, some rat burgers. They're not delicious at all. They're actually kind of growing on me. Let's see, when it turns green, when it turns green, when it turns green. No, bro! Let's see, can you just do this part for me, please? Ow, ow, I'm on fire. Ow, my butt's on fire. Okay, everything's on fire. I think we made it, though. Okay, uh, the compacted gunpowder. Once this is in the staff, I'll just need the battery. All right, let's activate this. Yes, it worked. Right click with the time staff to slow down time for 10 seconds. Wait a second. I have the power of time control? This is amazing. The oh, Mega no. Cell Battery. Oh, okay. Power. You have the yeah. Mega Cell Battery? Wait, that's what I need. Oh, okay. The battery's up near the roof. How do I get it down, though? With all of these guys around me. Okay. All right, bro. We're just getting right into it. Wait a second. It's speeding up time. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I can't control it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Bro. Bro, this guy is insane. Oh, uh, what are those? No. Are you serious? The battery fell lower? Dude, no way. He's slowing down time. He literally has his own time axe. Come on. Come on. No, I can't even eat food. Okay. Gotta eat some rat. Even though I hate it, I'm gonna have to do it. Now he forgot I have the power of time as well. Okay, wait. He doesn't seem to be too affected. Yes. There we go. He slowed down time. Okay. He's Speed up, speed up. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. This isn't fair, Bessie. She's not even helping me. Bessie, I'm gonna use you as a body shield. It did not work at all. <laughs> oh, no, 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 please. Just let me live. Wait, the staff can nullify the hacker's controls. Okay, let's try and hit him with it. Is it working? Yes, okay. It literally causes a malfunction in his brain. Yes, there we go. It's working. No, there's a cooldown. Okay, that's terrible. Nobody told me about that. Oh my gosh, we got gladiators. He literally broke every bad guy from every single dimension. Hold up, guys. I gotta eat my cooked rat. It's my only meal today. Please. Okay, I just, I, I wanna eat my rat, please, in, in, in peace and silence. I gotta slow down time here, boys. Slow down. Okay, I got pummeled. No, 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 no. Stop spending up time. When he does that, every single guy automatically comes and just wrecks my face. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. We're staying on the battery. Oh, did it work? You cannot do this. No, no, no. I am the hacker. Yes, no, I have I to do this. Unbeatable. My butt, you're not unbeatable. But, uh, sir, I am back, Bo Jack. Oh, yes, dude, it's working. Wait, Ronnie's here. Betsy's here. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked. <laughs> yes. Did we win? We did it! It's finished! Okay, guys, I've had my fair share of time traveling to last me pretty much forever. Bessie, Rodney, I think it's time to go home. That is, unless you guys want me to do one more episode where I travel to the cookie dimension. I think it's in the future, 
But that was literally the whole point of this. So now that hopefully the time machine works as expected, Bessie may be able to figure it out. But for now, I'm going to take some time off from the time machine. Rodney, no idea how you just got here. I'm very glad to see you. This place is literally just pure evil. There's just a giant clock tower where the hacker was literally hacking everything. So boys, I think I'm going to call it a day. I hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Beckbro Jack. This is Rodney. This is Bessie. We are officially done time traveling forever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, dudes.